Hi everybody, my name is João Alfredo Santos and I come from the Engineering School of Lisbon Polytechnic. What I'm going to present is a work carried out by myself and the team of people from the Portuguese Civil Engineering Laboratory and from the Technical University of Dresden. Although uh, run-up and overtopping are contained in the title of the presentation, I will focus only on wave run-up in rubble mount breakwaters under oblique wave incidents. This work aims at coping with the expected increase in the wave action on existing rubble mound breakwaters due to climate change. In fact, it is expected that climate change will lead to modifications in these structures either by using heavier armor layer elements or by increasing its crest levels. So, to extend previous results on the effect of oblique incidence angles on run-up, overtopping and armor layer damage of rubble mount breakwaters, a team of 19 people from four European countries worked together at the Marienwerden directional wave tank of the Leibniz University Hanover under the scope of this rod break experiment. A breakwater model 9.3 meters long, 3.7 meters wide and 83 centimeters high was built in the wave tank with the layout shown here. The armor layer slope was 1 to 2 and its porosity was meant to be 37%. In the round head and the adjoining trunk, the armor layer was made of antifer cubes, while in the rest of the trunk, the armor layer was made of rock. This scheme is a plan view with the positions of the several equipment used in the experiment to characterize the incident waves as well as the wave run up and overtop. Equipment were also deployed to characterize the armor layer damage, but it is not shown here. All collected data is available at the Zenodo repository. For each incident wave angle and water depth, at least four different sea states acted on the model. These sea states were to have a 0 0.055 wave steepness and the duration of each one corresponded to 1000 waves. Two water depths were considered as well as five different incidence angles. Both long and short crested sea states were tested. The sea wave characteristics used in this presentation were defined at the isolated acoustic wave probes 113, which lies in front of the breakwater round head, to 111, which is in front of the trunk stretch with the rock armor layer. They are these three black dots on the water. This means that the superposition of the incident and reflected waves may be included in this sea wave characterization. For long crested waves and the water depth of 60 cm, five incident wave angles were considered. The table shows that it is difficult to get, to get the highest values of the required significant wave heights. This difference between the required and the obtained significant wave height slightly increases with the incidence angle, but there is no clear trend as one moves away from the round head. 
In all the results presented here, it was assumed that the C state has the intended incidence angle. For the water depth of 68 cm, the number of incidence angle of long crested C states was reduced to 3. The influence of the directional spreading of short crested waves was investigated for the lowest water depth and the incidence angles of 40 and 65 degrees, the directional spreading being 50 degrees. For the incident angle of 40 degrees, results were also obtained for the highest water depth and short crested waves with a directional spreading of 50 degrees. Here, it is clear as we move away from the round head that the significant wave height decreases. Computing the weight steepness from the measured values, we may conclude that although we do not have the desired value of 0 0.055, we get not too wide steepness ranges that contain the 0 0.055 value. Run-up was measured with five capacitive wave probes, 87 centimeters long, that were deployed over the slope of the trunk and of the breakwater roundhead. Run-up was obtained from the projection onto the vertical axis of the wetted length of the run-up probe. Care was taken on the distance between the lower end of the probe and the still water level. The table shows the coordinates of the extremities of the run-up probes on the reference system at the crest axis. There were problems with the measurements at probe 415, which is the one on the breakwater round head that is furthest from the breakwater axis. And so the run-up values obtained with this probe were discarded. The run-up characteristic value that is considered in this presentation is R2% or the run-up value that is exceeded by only 2% of the incident C waves. The measured dimensionless run-up values were compared to the ones produced by the empirical formulae of the overtopping manual. Starting with the reduction factor for the influence of the berm, it is not difficult to get to this interval here, which enables us to consider this berm reduction factor as equal to 1. As to the reduction factor due to the armor layer friction, since we have either rock or antifer cubes in the armor layer, the value for this factor is 0.5. So we end up with this formula for the dimensionless run-up depending on the surf similarity parameter and on the reduction factor due to the incidence angle. The values here show for the same incidence angle the reduction factor for short crested waves being larger than the reduction factor for long crested waves. This graph presents the 32 dimensionless run-up values obtained in the four run-up probes in the eight tests carried out with the incidence angle of 40 degrees. Four tests with a water depth of 60 centimeters and four with a water depth of 68. The graph shows that the measured dimensionless run-up values have the same magnitude of the values predicted by the overtopping manual formulae, although most of the observed values are below the formula curve. Although the overtopping manual formulae for the dimensionless run-up predict larger values for short-crested seas, 
than for long crested ones, the range of the measured values is similar to the previous one. Anyway, the observed values have the same magnitude of the predicted ones. This graph presents the 32 values obtained in the eight tests with long crested waves making an angle of 65 degrees to the normal to the breakwater axis. According to the overtopping manual formulae, in this range of incidence angles, small errors in such an angle should not imply changes to the corresponding reduction factor. These are the 20 run-up values obtained in the five tests carried out with an incidence angle of 65 degrees at the water depth of 60 centimeters. As before, they suggest the reduction factor for the incidence angle of short-crested seas should be smaller to move down the curve of the overtopping manual formulae. To conclude, one may say that we presented here the first results on run-up measurements made during the rod break experiment, although the sea wave characterization may wrongly include the superposition of incident and reflected waves. Anyway, the steepness range of the measured sea states does contain the desired value of 0 0.055. These preliminary results show that for long crested waves, the best results were obtained for the large incidence angle. Finally, for short crested sea states, there may be the need to make smaller the value of the reduction factor for the incidence angle. I would like to acknowledge the support of the European Community Programme Horizon 2020, as well as the support of the Portuguese Research Foundation. Thank you for your attention.